And here we have today's special ingredient, Kraft Mac and Cheese. Now I don't have to tell you what this tastes like. It's delicious, especially when you make it right. However, that's not what we're going to be doing today. All I really want is this, the powder of mac and cheese, because I'm going to be doing something I've never seen done before. And here's how it's going to work. The first thing I need is the real star of today's show, chicken. The first thing to do was to get it seasoned. So for that, I first started with a good amount of salt. Then I used Guga's rub. One of the most important things on making your chicken taste really good is to season it properly. And another thing is to give it time so that the salt can penetrate deeply into the meat. So for today, I'll be dry brining this chicken with the rub. Now if that sounds like a fancy word to you, uh-uh, it's not. All you have to do is to let it sit on your refrigerator overnight. This will allow the meat to season it all the way through. Now to get a mac and cheese flavor on my fried chicken, I'm going to be doing it two different ways. And here's the first one. We're going to be creating a batter. So into a container, I threw in all-purpose flour, followed by that magic yellow stuff and a good amount of buttermilk. Mixed everything well and combined it together to see how yellow it was gonna be. And as you can clearly see, the amount of mac and cheese powder was not enough. So I had to go in with a second package. Mixed everything well and now we got it. This is exactly what I was looking for. And after 12 hours of brining, this is what the chicken looks like. Notice that there's no longer any salt. That's because it's nicely and deeply into the meat, which tells me that this chicken is gonna taste fantastic. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and soak everything into the batter. I'm also going to be letting it rest for an additional 12 hours in the refrigerator. Marinating the chicken with buttermilk is better because once all of the chickens were in there, I covered it up and into the refrigerator it went to rest overnight. Now for the remaining of the chicken, I'm going to treat it even more simpler. Into a separate bowl, I added buttermilk. Threw all of the chicken in there, cover everything up with more buttermilk and into the refrigerator it went to rest overnight as well. As the next thing to prepare was the seasoned flour. For that, I just used all-purpose flour, followed by Guga's rub. Mix everything together and that was ready. As now, I have to prepare this. Oh yes, we're talking about mac and cheese seasoning. And here's how to make it. I first started with one full package of mac and cheese, followed by a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and a tiny bit of parsley. Mix everything well and that's it. Now I'll be using this to sprinkle over the chicken once it's fully fried. And hopefully, it's gonna taste incredible. But I don't know which one is gonna be better. We're about to find out real shortly. Because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love to make side dishes. And to go along with the theme, this is an incredible mac and cheese for you to give it a try. And to make it, it is ridiculously easy and here's how. You can use any noodles you like, but I chose these. All you have to do is to throw it in boiling water and follow the instructions in the packaging. As that was happening, it allowed me to go ahead and make the cheese sauce. Into a skillet, I threw in some butter, followed by all-purpose flour. Mix everything well and let the flour cook up for about 5 minutes. As soon as it started smelling like pie dough, I threw in some milk. Turn up the heat on high and whisk it because it's gonna thicken up on you real quick. Once it has done so, go ahead and throw in some nutmeg and your favorite types of cheese. For today, I chose two, Monterey Jack and Sharp Shatter. Mix it all together to ensure that the cheese is fully melted. As you can see, this is the consistency I got with my sauce. To finish it up, throw the pasta into the sauce, mix everything well and combine, transfer it to a baking dish, add a little bit of cayenne and parsley right on top, and my mac and cheese is done. And come on now, is there any way that this is not gonna be incredible? I don't think so. And hopefully it's gonna pair up perfectly with our fried chicken. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and fry them up. And I first started with this one here, the batter. Now my goal is not to have too much batter, so I try to remove a little bit. Then into the oil it went at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The goal here is to fry them up without burning. Now this batter, for whatever reason, since it has cheese, it cooks up really quickly. So make sure to flip it as many times as necessary and ensure sure that it does not get burned. As you can see, I was able to get a nice golden brown color quite quickly. At the same time, these are not fully cooked yet. I'm gonna be finishing them in the oven, which was set to also 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That was good because it gave me time to go ahead and make the regular chicken. For that one, I removed a little bit of the buttermilk, add the all-purpose flour as much as possible, shake the excess, which is extremely important. Then into the oil, it went at 350 degrees Fahrenheit also. The goal here is exactly the same thing. Try to get a nice golden brown color without getting it too burnt. Now since my chickens are extremely thick, it's gonna take a while to cook. So for that, once it was golden brown, it also went into the oven. Once the temperature was reached, I threw in some of the mac and cheese 
seasoning right on top because now both of my chicken experiments were fully cooked. Which one tastes better? Will it even be better than a regular deep fried chicken? Well, I have no idea, but we're about to find out right now which one is best. It is enough talking and it is time to eat, so let's do it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful chickens, gentlemen. What do you guys think? It looks good. I think it looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks funny. It lo does look a little bit funny, but overall it looks like some good chicken. Why Leo, do you have to curse, cursing, Leo? Bro. Is even really a curse word? He went for it again. It looks pretty good, pretty interesting. As you guys can see, I got some fried chicken. It's a little experiment, as obviously you could tell. This one is a little bit orange. This one is a little bit more orange. And then we got this one right here, which is a nice little mac and cheese for us to cleanse our palates. With that being said, we're gonna go this direction today. Give me your honest opinion. Sounds like a plan? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Go, please dig in. I gotta say, this fried chicken is definitely crispy. You see, I told you it's crispy. <laughs> Let's give this one a try and let you know. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. That's some good chicken. This doesn't feel like an experiment, though. I know, right? <laughs> we don't say this very often, everybody, but the chicken is good. I let the, the chicken dry brine overnight, so you can see that the entire meat is extremely flavorful. Mm. It's just amazing, highly recommend. I'm glad you said that because it's true. You know, most of the time we bite into fried chicken, the flavor is all on the crust of the chicken. But yeah. this one, the actual chicken itself, the meat has a very nice flavor and just adds to the overall deliciousness of this. Nice, yeah. and, nice and juicy. Nice and juicy and also extremely flavorful. That's our control, by the way. Now we're gonna go for our second. Please guys, dig in. Let's go. Oh man. How does it smell, first of all? I would love to know. Can I curse? <laughs> Again? Leo, no cursing. Chill, bro. Leo's in a bad mood oh, today. Okay, fine. It smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm being lucky because I got another breast over here and I don't like breasts. So I'm much more of a thigh and uh, leg kind of guy. Amen, brother. I'm tired <laughs> of breasts. <laughs> Let's try this one and give them an honest opinion. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. That's more juicy too. That's delicious. Right. What is that? Damn, that flavor is like. Wow. I never thought that it was going to be so tasty like that. Mm -hmm. How do you describe it, Elio? It's it's very different than the last one because the crust of it is not as dry and crispy. It's more a, a little bit more wet, so it sticks to the meat more, but it almost kind of makes it a cheese instead of a crust. Exactly. So just to uh, make sure I got that right, you like it more wet than dry. Absolutely. <laughs> How about you, Angie? What do you think? <laughs> Yo, wet's better, bro. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will agree with me in the comment section. Always wet, never dry. This chicken is very moist. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse. How is that worse? That word, nobody likes to use that word. Put yeah, it in the comments down below and let me know. It makes me uncomfortable to hear that word. <laughs> the chicken is very moist. It's a very savory, cheesy, and it feels like maybe more flavor than the last one. Exactly. I see you keep going in. You I, definitely I, liked it. I feel a little bit bad because I feel like I'm not doing as much describing as I normally do, and I'm doing a lot more eating, but <laughs> guys, that just shows that this chicken is really good. So that was delicious. Let's clean our palates a little bit with some incredible mac and cheese, yeah? Now this mac and cheese here has real cheese instead of the fake cheese. Nice. That's always a plus. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, oh, that's good. Damn, damn. If you don't like this, I don't know what's wrong with you, everybody. This is like delicious. This? One million percent agree. So good. Now I'm really excited for this one here. So enough talking, let's dig in. All right. I'm hoping I don't get another breast. I got another breast. Come on, <laughs> man. I'm so excited for this one. I know, right? Me too. I'm going to actually put a little bit of extra cheese in this. Enough talking. Let's give this a go. You ready? I'm getting some extra goodness. All right. Oh, no. Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Damn. That's the winner. That's it? Oh my God. That is amazing. Oh my God. That is a 10 out of 10. We'll highly recommend right there. Mm, 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 mm. Oh what do you think, God. Leo? That is perfect. Leo, stop cursing. This is a family channel. I saw the opportunity. <laughs> I had to go for it. You get the best of both worlds with this chicken because the crust is crispy, 
but it's also because of the powder so flavorful you bite into it it just gets punched with a mountain of flavor on it really good super cheesy very delicious that is very delicious and it makes me so happy you know why because this is the easiest one to make oh really yeah this is so easy by the way are you seeing right here is mac and cheese powder the mac and cheese i just use the packaging absolutely delicious so is this unanimous is this the winner that's the winner 100 percent. that is oh, the yeah. winner this one is good as well but putting the mac and cheese seasoning powder on top is the winner everybody absolutely highly recommended anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe if you are interested in any of the equipment i use remember everything is on the description down below thank you so much we'll see you on the next one take care buddy bye-bye